We are starting to shift into part three of the fifth year anniversary on Dragon Ball Legends and they're starting off with a bang. We got a brand new LF Zenkai Awakening for the Sword of Hope Trunks. Now that he's got a Zenkai Awakening, he gets extra buffs and debuffs to the enemy on his unique gauge. He also gets extra buffs depending on what team he's on, whether it be hybrids, Vegeta Clan or Future. And he also gets extra buffs or gives debuffs depending on whether you or the enemy have banished an attack amongst other things as well so without further ado let's take a little look at the team so we're going to be jumping into rank pvp using a full hybrid saiyan setup to get the most out of his abilities but the main units we're going to be taking in is the, obviously the sword of hope trunks who's getting an additional zenkai buff from the other trunks from the future saga we're also going to be taking in beast gohan and the revival gohan who's also getting a zenkai buff and then we've got an additional health buff from the pan as well so because this team's going to be quite hard to kill i don't think we're going to see all the abilities because he does get extra damage inflicted and also nullifies cover change depending on the amount of battle members lost so hopefully we won't get to see that but we should be able to see everything else with his strike damage getting his unique gauge and the debuffs to the enemy but we'll see as we go through i think this team should look pretty good in pvp and hopefully we get some dubs let me know your thoughts on this senkai awakening down below and if you haven't already make sure to hit that like and subscribe and without further ado let's jump into some pvp and see how he does let's go okay looks like we're up against a god key universe rep probably god key with super vegeto on it let's see what we can do rose could be an issue but let's see he hasn't even got all the equips on rose i mean is he that confident or there's master ui at least let's get rid of that and we'll do this sure you can counter will that put up the gauge it does not noted okay and he just goes straight away there sure um I'm going to let Gohan just take these hits. We do want to build that gauge on Trunks as quick as possible so we can get his extra damage and all that sort of stuff. Sure. Um, vanish here. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Lots of damage there. Um, you going to... Yeah, he does go into Master GI. Interesting. Okay. Well, it's going to build our gauge at least. Let's build a little bit more with an extra 20%. Okay, fantastic. I'm going to go into Gohan. Get this off, and then we'll go into Beast. Okay, alright. Let's start building up that... Well, I was going to say building up the gauge, but I guess it's already built up. And there is Rosé. Let's get the Rise and Rush off with you. I mean, probably a good pick because my team does counter his Master UI quite a lot. But we can get someone out and it should give us obviously an advantage because less vanishes and stuff like that as well. So decent. We are pretty filled on the gauge, so we will heal up, get extra damage... Um, and oh my days there you go reduce all this key so I'll take that okay I thought we have sidestep in there apparently not sure uh, let's go to beast Gohan I mean obviously we've still got endurance with future go blue with future Gohan there but we'll get the endurance with him Nice, decent. And let's do that. Sure. Let's see if he's doing anything. Doesn't really look like it. Okay. Goodbye. Well, Rose, there he is. Start building up Beast Gohan back to his gauge here. Actually, let's go into you. Probably about time we lose you, actually. So, the Sword of Hope Chunks does sort of depend on losing some characters as well. Nope, we're going to get that off with the cover change. And he has vanished, so he lowers that uh, card draw speed and things. That's a long animation, so we will take advantage of that. That's some decent damage, mind, to Super Vegito there. 
surely can't bring in Rosé yet. No, he can't. Okay. Back into Gohan then. Oh, interesting. I thought that double jump would surely get in there. He's got extra card draw speed and things. Nice, 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 nice. Let's see if we can actually get the LF off here as well. We'll get extra key with us, don't we? We do. Okay. Not bad damage with the strike card here. Actually, let's pop this so we get extra damage and all that sort of stuff. That should do it. And we'll get the LF off, yeah? I mean, we should do with the Sword of Hope Trunks. I mean, he looked okay in that one. Nothing, nothing particularly spectacular. Yes, we do. I mean, the main thing is with him, it's a bit like the purple trunks who gets extra damage inflicted on the first blue card he does. That's what he gets quite a lot with strike card. And once again, he does depend on having battle members defeated. But from what we saw at the moment and with the gauge and things like that, not too bad, I guess. Let's jump into another one. Okay, looks like we're up against a god key team with... Only Vardos is the green unit, to be fair, but uh, we'll see what we can do, shall we? I thought we would have brought in Vardos just purely for the type advantage, but he brings in MUI Goku, which is maybe not the best of choices. Uh, fantastic. That's a great start, isn't it? At least we can start building this gauge up, I guess. The only thing is with this gauge, you have to, in this meta, the units are doing so much damage that you have to take quite a lot of damage before it's filled up. Um, okay, reduce your key. Right. Surely it's... It doesn't switch, really? Just goes for a blue card. Alright, okay. Um. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Shallot. Yep, there he is. You're not going to go into MUI. Surely not. Let's do this. And then, let's do this. Builds up the super attack damage of everyone else only for 20 time accounts which is quite fast quite a long time these days anyway let's do this um, and then we can <sighs> okay he waited that out he waited that out I guess he had no cards though to be fair you have no vanish Okay, he does go into Gogeta. I wasn't sure if he was going to, I'm not going to lie. Okay. Nice, 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 nice. And you know what? Trunks just takes out Gogeta before his gauge is filled, which is quite nice. Gonna have to do this. Nice, okay, I'll take that. And apparently you're not going to go into MUI, but still no MUI. That's why I was a bit, like, a bit unsure as to why you brought him in, to be honest. Uh, I was tapping, but apparently not. Trunks. Let's do this. You have no Vanish either. Now there's an MUI. Thing is with his gauge as well, once it's done once, it's kind of done, you know what I mean? We're gonna cut that out. Okay, you're gonna build up your gauge. Straight away didn't really work there. Can we lose Revival Gohan? Let's see. Because I wanna see the extra damage and stuff from Trunks, but in reality. You don't really want to be in a position where you've lost two battle members. Do you know what I mean? We've got a terrible hand here. Okay, I'll take that. Go back into Trunks here. And he goes back into MUI, but that's two done. Let's get a new hand, because I don't really like this one. Let's do that. Sure. You know what? Goodbye, MUI. Let's get you out of there so you don't even have the chance to do the last man standing. Nice. Okay. 
And there you go. And we got the windscreen with trunks as well. He did okay in this one, to be fair. I'll definitely take it. Let's jump into another one. Okay, a future squad it is with Rosé. And I'm assuming they're bringing in oh, probably the purple Rosé and the new trunks as well. Uh, new Zenkai trunks, at least. Let's see what we can do in this one. Okay, so they brought the two trunkses and the rosé. Interesting. Uh, oh, this is nice and laggy by the looks of it. Can I do something? Hello? Okay, I'll take that, though. I'm assuming rosé. No. Let's go into Beast Gohan, then, so we can nullify some things. Just for a little bit. Okie dokie. And then we'll do that so we can start building up the gauge again. And we can do a bit of damage here against Rosé. Did it? Oh, okay. Apparently I couldn't do a quick attack, but that's fine. Nice. I will take that. Let's... Okay. I was going to say build up the Gohan, but uh, he just used his save pretty much straight away there. Interesting. Back into Trunks he goes. He likes to switch quite a lot, so that is noted. I'm going to pop this. You know what, actually? Let's go into you. And just drop this a little bit. There you go. Don't have to worry about any cover changes now. Nice, nice, nice. And we'll just do this, get our Rising Rush as well. Is that him finished? It's not. Okay, he waited that one out. I'll take that. Go for your blue card or something. We'll start building up this Trunks, who has not been built up at all with his gauge. There's the blue card. Not a lot of damage, you know. Okay, I went for a quick attack. Is this going to fill up the gauge? Yes, it is. Okay. So now we've got that extra damage and things there. Let's do that. He's got another save now as well, so just to remind myself of that. Let's use this. Oh, my God. Are you serious? He just throws things out. Uh, let's go with a green card. I don't, I don't think he's used one recently. We are tanking that pretty well, you know. I mean, yes, we're still going to lose our first life, but still looking pretty good. A little bit of a ball, this guy, isn't he? Oh, my days. Are you serious? Fine. Beast Gohan it is. Oh my god, okay. We're going to go into you. It's just suddenly changing to a completely different player. What's happened here? Yeah, fine. I mean, I've already popped everything with this Gohan, so I'm not too concerned here. Nice. There's the second save. Nice, 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 nice. We're going to do this. And I'm just going to be safe and go with a blue card here. Because of him. Yep, yep, yep. You go, went straight away last time. There's Rosé. And we're just going to rise in. Uh, let's go with a blast card, shall we? Hopefully this goes through. Yes, it does. So, Rosé's gone. Don't have to worry about him. Because he couldn't save with the other trunks either. Because he's already used both of them. Okay. And there, ah, there goes one life at the very least. Totally forgot he had two lives a second there. Goodbye. Purple future trunks. And now what are you going to do? That's the question. Sure, I'm just going to take that. We're going to do this. Nope. Stop that. 
Okay, he's got fresh new hands. And let's finish this one up with the trunks as well. There we go. Decent. Okay. I think we're going to leave it there with the trunks. I mean, overall, he's looking pretty good with a Zenkai. But as far as his character goes, I mean, I do find it odd that they've uh, buffed Vegeta Clan with his Zenkai buff. Not sure why they've done that. I would have much preferred Future, seeing as part three is based around Future, is it not? But out of all the teams we've picked on, Vegeta Clan's not really a team. Not a high meta team at the very least. So realistically, you're looking at hybrids or future. With hybrids, you've got Beast Gohan to kind of take over it unless you use this type of team. And then on future, I'd probably want to use like Zamsu for the defensive qualities. He can sort of fit in, but not massively. Like he's not meta changing. He's not changing the looks of your team completely but and once the defensive qualities once you've used his gauge once it kind of goes away i mean i'm not too sure and he kind of wants lots of defeated battle members which obviously as a player you kind of don't want but i'm not really sure overall he ha it has got a lot better don't get me wrong it's just where he fits in the meta i'm not really sure let me know your thoughts down below and if you haven't already make sure to hit that like and subscribe thank you very much for watching until next time i'll catch you later ciao